Hello and welcome back to The Zack and Boz Review. Review. Yes, moviegoers, we're back with another review. This um, time we went to watch Shot Through the, the heart. heart. It wasn't, wasn't in, in the movie, movie and neither was a lot, a lot of, of other stuff in that was the trailer. In the trailer. Especially you... like the thing with the whole, uh, what was it, the electric scooter through the train? Through nope, the train, nothing. the dog going... Uh-huh. Wasn't in the movie. Um, Can you do that again? Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> there, was, there, was a, there was loads of that stuff. That trailer, ladies and gentlemen, was very misleading. Very misleading trailer. It was a trailer for a film that we didn't go to see. No. it. Yes, we saw bits that were in the trailer. Yep. But the trailer presented it as this... like Really rock and roll Balls action, to the wall action, action movie. movie. That's it. It was balls to the wall. Yeah, okay. Balls to the wall it's action It's a, a, a rocking... Okay. Awesome time. Okay, it was the 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 trailer we've seen so many times again in the cinema and seen it on the big screen. It's like we're gonna watch this, you know. Yeah. And we're watching it, and it suddenly it was like Ooh. toned down quite a lot. Uh, it was a rom com. Yeah, it was a rom com. It was a it was yes, a it had action. Yes, it had stunts. But, but it, it was, was a romance comedy, probably aimed more at the ladies than the yeah, gents. Yeah, which is a shame because there was a lot. Of like <laughs> advertising surrounding this, it was like, like for the 4DX, we didn't watch it in 4DX. We just watched standard version, and thank goodness we did. Yep. But there was like special promotions, like win this, like f- action figure of the guy if you watch this in 4DX, and it's like, why would I even want that? Yeah. Based upon this movie. Uh, but the movie itself mm-hmm. was a. Comedy romance, yeah, yeah action yeah. romance. Primarily, yes. And the action did not stand up to the level shown in the trailer. Mm. It was also something else. As two people that work within the film industry, and over the years, yeah. we we do stunt fighting, mm-hmm. okay, and we work and we have worked with stunt teams, and we've done all sorts of different stuff mm-hmm. you know, in in big Hollywood blockbusters and things, and we know how the stunt men never, bless them, get credit for what they do Okay, at the Oscars. Uh, this is the same with us guys, the stunt fighters in the background. Yep, you special know? action. Yeah, yeah. We're there having fights, yeah, we're doing medieval battles, we are being chased by dinosaurs, <laughs> we're, you're fighting dragons. I'm um, being you know? a zombie. Being zombies, being shot through the head, being shot through the head again, and then being shot through the head again and falling Literally, off things. You know? He's been shot through the head yeah. three times. The amount of times I've... In one movie. The amount of times I've died <laughs> in, in certain movies is silly. Um, and of course they're stunts because we have to fall we have to fight we have to do stuff and it's there's a certain danger level and then you've got your professional stuntmen which take more risks and they and if you watch full guy and you watch the end credits you'll mm-hmm. see how they're all they've got all the cables on and they've got all the all, all the safety gear on and everything and that's that's a good insight and that was the other thing i felt this movie was pushing it really did push to it was a, like a message to send out to the academy mm-hmm. to say hey it's about time that you've got stuntmen yeah. that are playing the parts of the lead actors mm-hmm. and the lead actors get all the credit, but it's the stuntmen that are doing those They're taking actions. the punches. They're taking the punches and doing those action scenes. Putting, the, and, putting their lives essentially yes, on the line. Yes, yes, they do get paid a good bit of money, you know, <laughs> but they don't get the same credit. Mm-hmm. So you watch an action movie mm-hmm. and you'll see the main actor who's playing the main character Mm -hmm. playing that role and suddenly what you're watching for this big action sequence a lot of the time isn't the main actor at all anyway (laughs) unless it's tom cruise um so uh, and that was funny because we had like a main actor who's an actor yeah who's got a stuntman who's ryan reynolds Mm -hmm. who's an actor who then has his own stuntmen do the stunts in the movie wait that where he's meant to be a stuntman (laughs) Yes. Wait, did you say Ryan Reynolds? If, did I say Ryan? Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. My, my apologies. <laughs> it's because we've been watching the uh, Deadpool trailer. Deadpool trailer. Um, yeah, and who's the other guy? Uh, the the guy. Oh, because you've got you've got to be a bit more specific. They all look the same. The in main them. actor in it, who is the big superstar? Tom, 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 Tom Ryder. Tom Ryder. That's it. Aaron Taylor Johnson, who plays uh, Craven the Hunter. Kick-ass. And kick ass. Kick ass, that's it. And Quicksilver. Yeah, all that. And oh, the yeah. guy from Godzilla in 2014. Yeah, 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 loads of things he's been. Um, but so we don't see a lot of him. No. And we, yeah, so you, you it's quite common. It's, it's actors playing but it, parts. But the way he presents that character is, is very much that kind of 
stereotype of oh, pompous actor. Yeah, I mean, not being funny, we've been. And he all, does that quite well. He does it quite well because th- that's the one thing about the movie industry. And I've got to be, I've got to say, there is a, this is an industry which really there's a lot of nepotism in it, and there's a real strong hierarchy. You yeah. know, uh, and if you try and if you step out of line. You're offset. Yeah. You know? Blacklisted, yeah. Blacklisted, offset, we don't want you. And it showed a lot of that side of it. It did. You it know? did. Um, where... Obviously kind of a bit more kind of... Yeah, a little bit more Fil- inflated. Inflated, yes, yeah. that's a good word for but it. But it is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and anybody that works in the industry knows mm-hmm. it. And um, so it was a movie that was a message Yes. to say, we're the stunt guys. And it was probably a movie that kind of made by stunt guys for stunt guys. <laughs> Yeah. But with actors. But with actors playing stunt guys. <laughs> um, so, but it wasn't what was advertised. No. It wasn't what was advertised. It was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed it. But it mm-hmm. wasn't as rocking as the actual trailer. So, obviously, this was based on the original TV series. Yes, yes. And there was a significant cameo in there. Yeah, I've got to say, again, at the end of the at credits, the end, you know, everybody's got up. It literally said the end on the on the screen, and everyone up and off they go again, like in in the masses. In the masses, only to miss the most blinding end credit, where you actually have Lee Majors yeah. and his wife Farrah Fawcett Majors there, the original uh, full guy, and, the original Bionic Man there, <laughs> and, both doing the cameo role, and a very significant like resolution to the film yes, to the f- as oh, yes. well. Oh yes, because obviously that's where, should we kind of say it, the main character who is a bad man, okay. We won't say who. He gets kicked out and yeah. replaced by another Hollywood actor, major yeah. actor. So they filmed the film, which is mm-hmm. uh, what's it, Storm? Metal Storm. Metal Storm. Metal Storm. So they filmed the, the so-called... About a Spanish cowboy. Spanish cowboy. So, and an alien queen yeah, princess. Love story. Love conquers all. Oh, we all have that fire in us. So anyway, yeah, it's really funny. But, uh, oh, so, that brings up another thing. Continue, so, okay. continue. So you've got this. So they've got the bad actor... Uh, who's been a bad man, not a bad actor as such, but he's just, he's, um, what's it? Ba, 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 ba. I can't remember the... Space Cowboy. Oh, yeah, but what's the uh, his name in the movie? Tom, 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 Tom Ryder. Ryder, that's it. So they have to kick him out at yeah. the end and replace him. Uh, there's a lot of talk within the movie about face mapping. Yeah. You know, and yeah. changing people's faces. Um, <laughs> so they, they basically change him for somebody else. And you don't see that until you see this end credit. Yeah. Either. And, yeah. and they all walked out and missed this really, really vital, kick in, kick vital thing, and yeah. funny and important bit. They'd all bug it off. Why? Why would stay, you do this? Stay in the movie theatre. Anyway, over to you, because you were about to say something. So the thing I was going to say was, obviously, Metal Storm. Yeah. You do see the progression of this film being filmed throughout the movie. Yes. And then later on in the movie, it's very clear it's kind of like a parody oh, of yes. June. Oh, It is. Oh, <laughs> It is. It's, uh, they are taking the video oh, out of man, June. That is hilarious. Uh, although I will say that Metal Storm, which is obviously being directed by Emily Blunt as the director of it, yeah. looked like a far better movie than the full, the full guy. I would like to have seen Metal Storm as a yeah. movie. Yeah. I mean, come on, <laughs> Asylum Pictures, you make mock busters all the time. Yeah. Make Metal Storm. Metal Storm. Make it like. I don't know. Yeah. Aluminium avalanche or something. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> overall, yeah, it's a fun movie. Yeah. Uh, I thought the fight sequence, mm-hmm. especially the fight sequence with Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt, if you ever see this video, you did a absolute kicking, rocking that was the, fight sequence. That was the best that, that fight was, scene in the movie. It was, it was the best well uh, ironically, designed. Ironically, and, yes. <laughs> and funny fight scene. Mm-hmm. But she did so well in that fight scene. Mm. I absolutely love the way that was done. So you did, you did well. And um, uh, I just don't think it stood up to the... Expectation. Ad- ...advertising, that was anything. How did it actually compare? Did you see the original series? Yeah, the original series. How did it compare? Uh, well, it's kind of different because the original series was... Obviously, Lee Majors, the mm-hmm. fall guy, it was a TV series. Mm-hmm. So he was kind of... It was a series... How can you put it? It's, it's a bit like the A-Team. Mm-hmm. So every 
episode was a story that where he's got involved in in uh, I think it was to, out of being a stuntman he's kind of like mm. a bounty hunter uh, oh, and using his stunt skills so it was every episode was all about <laughs> sort of solving a, a, a situation and sticking yeah. some stunts in there right. so it was an exciting bit of Saturday night okay. viewing okay. Um, but that it, it, it was just a homage to the original yeah I suppose, I suppose in that sense very loose, loose, yeah, loosey loose goosey. Remake. Um, but well worth seeing the cameo he makes at the end of it. So uh, yeah, there definitely, you go. I'd recommend it for that. Uh, so let's round it up. Okay, mm-hmm. so if we are talking about one to ten, one being the most useless stunt action you've ever seen, and ten being the most amazing stunt action going, and I think they put all their money into that one car jump at the end. Um, <laughs> okay, you know, uh, I you know kind of like. Tom Cruise style stunts, or you know, just somebody falling accidentally now, off a I've, chair. I've had a, a day or so to actually digest this now, and, and we love all the stunt as, guys as much as I liked it. I enjoyed it for what it was. I don't think it's been the best thing I've seen at cinema for a while, and I'm gonna say kind of five yeah it's kind of kind of in the middle there actually. i'll give it i'll, I'll give it a middle it, it, look at it a five i mean it was entertaining yes yeah it's a trip to the cinema popcorn movie mm-hmm. it was fun it was a blockbuster it was interesting for it'll a, probably do really well I, I think it's a movie that you can watch on different levels depending mm-hmm. on whether you are just a member of the public who mm-hmm. has no concept of what happens behind the camera yeah and for people like us, we spend a lot of time behind the camera and in front of the camera, yeah. where we are looking at these people and saying, yeah, you know, not only the stunt guys don't get a look in, yeah. but, but when you've got all these, you, could, you, you would have noticed this, you've got all the aliens in a fight sequence, so you've got this metal storm fight sequence, and you've got people on the uh, kangaroo legs, yeah. yeah, dressed up as these aliens, you've got other people, and they're all fighting with the camera focusing on the two main characters. Yeah. In, and you in think, a car, yeah. you think, and you think that they're complaining in this movie that mm-hmm. they're not the stuntmen aren't getting recognised for the effort they put in. <laughs> yeah. But if you took all of the other stunt fighters in the background out all of it, all of the all supporting the, artists, all the background artists, you're just looking the background at a, a actors, beach. <laughs> you'd be looking at a beach, and it's kind of one of those things that always bugs me. I'm going to tag it on the end here. That why don't they credit these people? You know, yeah. I mean, we've done such a lot of stuff, and and we don't get credited for it. But if we if you took us out of it, and you you'd have no movie. Exactly. But there you yeah. go. So it was kind of to watch it on different levels. It was fun because from us, we were looking at it kind of mm-hmm. a bit of an industry insight into it. I suppose really but, what what gives this movie its driving force is that message of give the stuntmen give the stuntmen an Oscar. That's basically it. That's what it was. Give it, the stuntmen an Oscar. Without that message, I don't feel as it. I think it just blur into the background of other action movies we've come coming yeah. out recently yeah but i think that that message was pointed at the academy rather than yeah. the general public definitely yeah. yeah so there you go anyway loved emily blunt in it she was brilliant uh, ryan gosling did all right ryan gosling did great you know he did a good 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 still still prefer him in blade runner 2049 <laughs> yeah yeah he had a better better character in that one yeah. Um, uh, but he took his knocks in this one supposedly, mm-hmm. and it yeah. was a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah, and, good. Uh, I, I did. The, I liked the unicorn sequence; was quite humorous. Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah. with the whole. Yeah, again in the trailer, this. you had that kind of disco action sequence, but again, it was changed. It wasn't all like unicorny. Yeah, I think if we went back and word. looked at the trailer, yeah. We'd probably say that wasn't in it. That, that wasn't, wasn't in it. it. That, that wasn't in it. it. That, that wasn't, wasn't in it. it. What that the wasn't hell? It. And the main music wasn't in it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Come on, guys. What are you selling? But anyway, you. That's all. That's it. We've that's it. We're done. We're, We're done. done. We're seven up. We've fallen. <laughs> we are the full guy. That's it. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe to this channel and comment below any suggestions of further reviews you would like to see. See you in the next one. Shot through the heart. Oh. No, 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 no.